Yo, what's up? Penalty Records, Wavelength in the house. We're here with Shabazz, the disciple. Shabazz, what's up? Peace, peace, everybody. What's up? Yo, who you got with you, man? Yo, I got Ray from around the globe, and I got DJ Martin Moore. Word. We out here. My man Cab, he out there somewhere. Word. So what's this song about? You got a lot of different images in here. You got uh, a horse running through the field. You got people running through the field. You got shackles and chains. What's going on with that? That's dealing with, like, slavery, you know what I mean? And shackles that hold your mind down from being the God who you are. And the horse is like the horse from the Book of Revelations, the pale horse. Who sat on that horse, is, his name is Death. So that was really like Death chasing that black man in there. You understand what I'm saying? He was running from Death. It's like psychological jewels in there, spiritual reality, in other words. Uh, you first came out on the Grave Digger right, right. A lot of people heard that song and they assumed that you were talking about worshiping the devil and oh, right, you right, wanted to go to right. hell and all that kind of. What was that single about? What were you trying to Let say? Let me clear that up. All right, listen. When I said bear witness as I exercise my exorcism, I was dealing with every man has evil inside him, but he has to know it's there and control it in order to get the best of him. You understand? And then, like when I was saying, first I'll assassinate him, then I'll cremate him and take his ashes, all of that. What I was really dealing with is like intellectual bullets that I shoot in your head to assassinate the devilish thoughts in your head. You understand? And bring it back to vapor and get rid of that. And as far as giving you a Holy Spirit, that means just put the word of God in you. You understand? Let me get into your religious background a little bit. I know you're expressing some um serious philosophy here, but you also have some um, some biblical stuff in here, and there's some 5% um, nature kind of stuff in here. How do you reconcile both? You see you have knowledge of revelations. You know, you almost have a gospel song in the chorus of this one. How do you reconcile both of those points of view? Well, when you put it all together, it's just the words of God. No matter who you call him, Jehovah, you know, Yahweh, it's all the same God. And as far as the lyrics, you know, I'm dealing with just the words that I see every day. See, I could take you to the Bible, then I could take you out of that, take you to the same degree in the Quran, take you to the 5% lessons, then show you that right now outside. So it's just reality, spiritual reality. You got to extract the spiritual meaning of the jewels that I'm dropping. So, you know, if you're a physical brother, you're not going to really bear witness yet. That's why I have to explain it, you understand? So, so what's next with Shabazz? Well, next is going to be making a die trying, which is a vow that I made to myself that nothing is going to stop me from getting through to this music but my heart if it was to stop. 